Couple of couple of changes from last time out. Chance here for Luke May Parrot. He's in the box. This is where he loves it. Shot to flex off Nathan. He's through. Lifts it in. Back post. Head up. We've got goals to back and no time to lag. Up the tags. Alright guys, how you doing? You can see behind me Premier League Luton Town Stadium, but you've seen from the title, the men's team aren't playing Luton today. We're playing Canvey Island. What's going on? Well, the footballing gods have meant that we've got our first ever two games happening at the same time. Our men and women are both playing and most of us have come to the women's game for good reason. This is arguably the biggest game in our club's history. National League final, playing Newcastle United here at a neutral venue whilst the men are at Canvey. So we've got a limited team led by Lewis Preston capturing all the footage for the Canvey game which this video is going to show you. And uh, yeah, it's a little bit different to the normal kind of men's video you're used to. A bit more streamlined because we're here hopefully winning the National League final against Newcastle. On with the video, can be obviously big rivals of ours, local derby. Uh, we tried to get the game played on a Friday night so we could do both. Unfortunately, can be weren't able to uh, agree to that. So the game's happening at the same time, but two teams that are quite close on the table, hoping to get a hashtag win and finish strong. We've still got a cup final for the men, of course, to come. So a lot still to play for, and hopefully a really good Saturday for both men and women's teams. On with the game, let's take a look at the team. Devs is playing versus can be. In goal is Josh Shrizovic. In defence, we have Nathan Smith and Jermaine Anderson as full-backs, Greg Halford and Tom Anderson at centre-back. In midfield, it's Max Cornhill, PK Humble and Matty Waldridge. Ahead of them, Camilo Restrepo gets a start on the left of the attack. Toby Romalaren also starts on the right. And up front is Luke May Parrott on the bench. That leaves an injured Harry Haysom, Misha Jamaili, Pedro Carvalho, Ryan Sammons and Alex Tenyola. Sakasan still away on international duty with Somalia. Couple of... A couple of changes from last time out. The rumours are that they've had budget cuts just this week. Two players have been let go without being able to bring anyone in. They give goals up easily if we go and play with energy and press. Um, they've got young loan signings in that they're filling gaps with and they've got players that can't get around the pitch if we sustain a high energy about our play. That said, with all those things that, that have happened in the week, sometimes it galvanises teams. And it'll only galvanise them if we give them a chance and the opportunity. And we have to learn from last week what happened when we gave a chance and an opportunity to the opposition. We have to learn from that and not allow it to happen and make sure that we play with... We start games well, but we've got to make sure that we manage and maintain the pace of our play and the decisions that we make. Joe? No. Let's get going. Come on. Here we go then, hashtag the away team today, of course, in the white, claret and blue against Canvey in the colours we normally play in, yellow and blue. Up the tags. Nathan Smith with a throw in here. Down the line, headed first by Canvey player. Matty Waldridge is underneath it. Max Cornhill gets over to PK. Lovely little pass here for Toby. Can he get a cross in? Oh, it's deflected. It's off for a corner. Strees plays it across his box here. Jermaine Anderson. Down the line. Oh, defenders missed it. Chance here for Luke May Parrott. He's in the box. This is where he loves it. Oh, he can't find the target. Massive chance for Luke there. Absolutely loves going one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. And you'd have backed him to score that just wide of the post on this occasion, though. I think it may have had a little bit of a bobble here. It's not the easiest of pitches to play on. Nathan Smith to PK. Into Matty Waldridge. Difficult to keep that ball on the ground on this pitch. Oh, good tackle, though, by the Canvey. Number three, Elliot Johnson. And now Canvey have got a chance here. It's Bradley Sack. Can he get a shot off? He does. And he misses the target in front of the Canvey faithful. Another throw in for Nathan Smith. Cornhill trying to win his challenge. Gets it back to the thrower. Canvey getting to these balls before us. The wind is playing a big part here today. Nathan clips it. Forward again, Canvey cut us out. Ref falls over and it's headed away. Sack into the middle here for Connor Hubble. Goes down. Gets a free kick. Max kicking it into the wind. Toby leaves it to the fullback to deal with and it comes back to Toby here. Can he cross it in? He does. He dinks it. It's a back heel attempt from Camillo. Just didn't have the power it needed. Down the line here for Canvey into their target man striker. Good footwork in the box. Chance to go one up. Goes across instead. And that extra pass 
was brilliant. It has to be said, Elliot Johnson, the fullback, gets the goal. And Canvey are 1-0 up in this local derby. He could have easily shot there, Elliot Ronto. Instead, passes it across. And it's a good goal from a Canvey standpoint. Disappointing one to concede for the tags. But uh, he's always going to score from that distance. Hashtag 1-0 down then. And Matty Waldridge on the ball. Into Luke. Pokes it over to Toby, who's on the left-hand side now. Into the box. Can he shoot? He does. Just needed a little bit more width on that finish to beat the keeper. Almost a great goal there from the tags. Toby been involved in a lot already this game. That ball was bouncing always, wasn't it? Good save from the keeper, though, but he had to save it. It wasn't quite wide enough. Jaden Crowhurst with the throw in here for Canvey. Gets it back. Nathan should clear. Oh, we'll get stuck underneath him here. And it's Elliot Ronto on the ball. He set up the last goal, tries to cross it. Comes back to the fullback, puts it in. And it's Bradley Sack with another goal for Canvey. 2 0 down, not going well here at all for the tags. He scores a lot of goals for Canvey. Bradley Sack, and he's got another one here against us. Nathan was unable to clear it. And then that man who's been at the heart of a few chances, Elliot Ronto, gets his cross deflected. The right back puts it back in. And then Bradley Sack's always going to score from there. Oh dear. Another throw for Nathan and can the Tags get one back late in this first half? As Luke May Parrott flicks it to the left. Toby's here again. Tries to cut in. He's been in this position already once today. This time it's deflected. It's going to come with Tom Anderson now. Plays it into PK. Late challenge there. Got to be a free kick surely. It's going to be a, a card, is it? Yes. Yellow card for the Canvey player. Number five, Jimmy Wallace. PK going to whip this free kick in here. Across the box, Greg Halford inches away from getting us back in this game, maybe. It's a lovely ball from PK. Greg on the left foot just couldn't direct it to the back of the net, but there's no way the keeper would have saved that one. Another throw in from Nathan Smith. He's had a lot of them this half. Goes back inside. Greg's going to clear it. Another late one on Greg. Ouch. Hopefully Greg's okay. On his ankle, I think. Another yellow card as well for uh, Canvey player Elliot Ronto on this occasion. Striz. Let's send this one forward. Looking for Luke. Headed away. The wind is really doing things to this ball in the air right now. Matty Waldridge clips it down the line. Cleared. Tom Anderson gets ahead to it. And clears it again, but it's coming straight back to Canvey every time. Toby, though, has got a chance to break here. Can he get a shot off? He tries it and he gets it. It's a little bit like that chance he had earlier in the half. This time, though, he finds the bottom right corner and hashtag are back in this game right before half time. Brilliant play to get away from his man. Had Luke to his right, but didn't need to use him. Brilliant finish from Toby O'Malaren, who has been a thorn in Canvey's side. A little bit aided by the defender losing his footing, maybe. But we won't care. Come on, hashtag. Back in this game. And well done, Toby. Great time to score as well, right before half time. Nearly half time. Canvey won't be happy conceding right before the break. Although, have they got a chance here to restore their two goal advantage? Shot deflects off Nathan. He's through. Oh, he's in, but I don't think it's going to count. I think he's been given offside. What a finish, though, by the way. And that is another let off for the tags. Half-time whistle should be coming any second now. And there it is. And it is 2-1 at the break. Canvey in the lead. Hashtag showing some signs to get back in this game, though. Let's see what Devs thinks. We saw last week what momentum can do to us. And we've just started to get some momentum. The big, it, it, here's, here's our big problems. This is where we're... The midfield, we're losing the midfield battle. Right? We need to get back to a shape of you two and you ahead. Because you look like you're going... It's taking you 35 close to 40 minutes to get into the game, to find your foot, foot in, going, you know, all over, get your shape and your discipline back. And we've got to react quicker. We said, we said that how they might go, it's galvanised them a little bit and giving them goals has galvanised them a little bit, a, a bit further. But be positive with it and have a real intent and purpose about what we're doing. But we've seen we'll get chances. We've just got to keep chasing and gambling on it. We without 
taking unnecessary risks. Let me reiterate what we said about we don't have to panic. There is no, there doesn't need to be panic about it, all right? When we panic, we go to shit. We still have to play with patience, but play with a purpose. Okay, big second half to come for Hashtag. Obviously, we've swapped ends now. Look at this wind. It definitely is playing a part today. Headed by Max Cornhill. Luke, little flick around the corner. That's nice. Toby will chase it. Cleared only as far as PK. Gets it stuck underneath him. It's a good back heel there, isn't it? And now Canvey could turn defence into attack with Bradley Sack here. He's going to shoot. He's hit one. Oh, wow, that moved as well. Stris did well to save that because it moved from right to left for me. And he's just pushed it past his post. Let's have another look at this. Yeah, you can see what the wind is doing today. It's outrageous. Down the line for Canvey. Flicked on. Can Jermaine come away with it? PK puts a foot in. Back to Jermaine. Oh, it's a lovely lead from Camillo. Must have got a call from PK. PK finds him. Camillo looks to curl this one in. Back post. It's going to fall for Matty Waldridge. Thinks about the left foot shot. Tries to find PK. Plays it to a Canvey player. That was a chance there. Halford. Looking for Toby. It's going to hold up in the wind. Fullback does well, but Matty Waldridge is there. Goes back to Toby. Toby inside to Luke. Luke to Max Corner. was on the edge. Who loves it in those areas? That's oh, some good feet in the box from Luke. Back to PK now. Long Ranger. And that wasn't far off, you know. Let's have another look at it. Very close, I think. Could have nestled in the top corner. The keeper did not move. He wouldn't have got there if it was on target. Halford. Stands it up towards Toby. Wins his challenge despite a push in the back. Toby going to keep chasing this one. Oh, it's another late one. It's a yellow card as well. Rob Girdleston in the book. Halford looking for Toby on the left side. In the box now. Gets it across on the left foot. I think it was a cross, but there was no one really there. He wants a corner. Not going to get it. Greg could go back to Striz. Plays it to PK instead. A little one-two. Greg now. It's a good pass, that is. He's found Toby as he has done many times this half. Toby beats his man. He's having a good game, is Toby. Into the box again here. Can he shoot? He does. Oh, he's done everything but score there. Restrepo. Plays it out to the left. Misha Jamila, who's been introduced... Got a chance to cross. Can he get it on his left foot? He cuts onto his right. Goes with the right. Heads it. It's Luke May Parrot with a chance there. Just couldn't direct it goalwards. Good work from Mish. Not far off. Jermaine. Into the box. Looks for the flick of Mish. Oh, it's an effort from Luke again. Just inside the box, off target again. We've missed the target a lot today, it has to be said. We've had chances. Got to test the keeper more. On the volley, not far off. Smith to Striz, who sends it up towards AT. He's been introduced now. Oh, Tomo's missed that one, though. Bradley Sack back on the ball. He's going to shoot again. Tries to place it bottom right. Striz saves it. So a bit more of a curler, that one. And it was goal-bound. It was a decent effort, but Striz equal to it. Running out of time now for the tags to get back in this game. Tomo finds Waldridge. Great first touch for Matty. Crosses in low. Cleared by the defender. Just over 10 minutes of normal time left. Jermaine's going to try and get this one back. We have been better this half for sure. It's a bit of a uh, pile up there. Waldridge comes to help. Tomo clears. Toby trying to win his flick. It's just in the air at the moment. Oh, a bit of a late one. Chance here for the number 10. A DB hits the shot. Strees watches it into his gloves. Come on, boys. 
got to believe we can get back in this game. We've still got time to win it. Great pick out from PK to Toby. He's got Matty behind him. Plays it to Matty. Lifts it in. Back post. Head up. What a save that is from Sam Jackson. God, we know about Jamie Jackson in goal for the tags. But Sam Jackson for Canvey has pulled out a great save there. And he stopped an equaliser from Max Corner. We know he's so reliable in the air. Big save. Corner for the tags. Less than 10 minutes left on the clock. We go short. PK back to Mish. Mish lifts it in. Cleared. Only as far as Matty. Oh, did well after a poor first touch. Still got it. Over to Toby in the box. Touch takes him wide. Tries to get the shot off. Not going to trouble the keeper. Jackson's goal kick is headed by Cornhill. It's Ronto on the ball here, though. Hits the long ranger again. Oh, Strees spills it. Sacks in the box. Great follow-up save. He needed it after parrying the first one. Maybe was going wide there. I'm not sure if Strees knew that or not. But Sack with a big chance to make it 3-1. Anderson of the Jermaine variety finds Toby. Good turn into the box now. Still going. Cornhill. Over to Matty. Matty lifts the cross in. Back post. Mish controls it, lifts it back in. Can't quite find the target man, AT, and Matty hits it across the goal. Just not getting the luck today. Luke to Mish. Mish looking for Toby. He's been going left, right. He's all over the shop today. Ball in the box. Yes, it's the goal. It's AT on the left foot. Toby the provider, and it is 2-2. Two, two. And we're back in the game. There's no less than we deserve, you have to say. We've been pushing all half. But we do eventually find a way through. Toby, 280. And that is lovely. Double figures for the season now. Alex Teniola on to 10 goals. And uh, on his weaker foot, you have to say. But he does enough to beat the defender and the goalkeeper. And it's two apiece. Come on, boys. Still got time to win this. Let's go. Waldridge. Last few minutes of normal time. PK. He's got Mish to his left. Doesn't use him though. Looks for Toby instead. PK looks to pick it up. Doesn't give up on it. Still has Mish. Can cross it. Does cross towards AT. Tries to control it to Luke. Oh, how many times today have we missed the target on them? And we're running out of time. The ref's going to blow his whistle any second. Jermaine flicks it down the line. AT, can you cross? Oh, he just loses his foot in. And that will be all she wrote. The points shared between Canvey and Hashtag. Considering we were 2-0 down, it's not the worst result. We'll take it. Could have been better. We had a lot of chances today. UFL player of the match is going to be Toby Aroma Laren with a goal and an assist. He's obviously only just returned from uh, Love Island duty. And uh, he's picked up his form where he left it. You can see what this means for the league table here. Another draw. Too many draws this season. If some of them had been wins we'd be right up there. But we're not getting beat. That's the main thing. Even when we're down, we're coming back. Drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Head over to the Extra channel to see the post-match reaction and all that good stuff. If you want to see what happened in that massive women's game at Luton against Newcastle United, keep your eyes on the channel. There's going to be a video very soon. And until next time, up the tags.